going to be sent to London. I am to go on show, myself and the jewels. Do you wish to go on show? Why else? We have no choice, you and I, but to obey instructions. I watched you, you know, that day fighting for my honour. I must have seemed such a strange little creature to hide and watch. But I did. I enjoyed it very much. You rewarded me very much. Did I? You kissed me. Forfeit. You imagine yourself a young knight in a child's story, clearing away cobwebs and thorns, marrying the princess. But you must know, Pip, I have no heart. I don't believe it. How can there be beauty without a heart? Oh, I have a heart to be stabbed in or shot in, and should it cease to beat, I should cease to be. But I have, I have no softness there, no sympathy. Sentiment is nonsense. I'm serious, Pip. If you and I are to be thrown together, you must believe me. For both our sakes. I'm sorry. I can't. Very well. It is said, at any rate. Come. Miss Havisham will be expecting you at your old post. Will you never take warning? How can you do it, Stella? What? Give your affection to that man. All sorts of ugly creatures hover about a lighted candle. Can the candle help it? No, but you can. Perhaps. If I cared. But you must care. To encourage a man as despised, and unworthy, and addle-headed, and boorish as Bentley Jummel. A man who has nothing to offer you except money. Pip, do not let us affect you so. I can't help it. Give that man the looks and smiles you never give to me. Do you want me to deceive you? Do you deceive him? Yes. Yes, him and many, many other men. All men but you. Then why am I to be spared? Why do you think? 